，成龙呢个死扑街。Hey、everybody， let's talk more about Jackie Chan。So there are two versions of Jackie Chan。Pre 1997 Jackie and post 1997 Jackie, which is present day Jackie Chan. As you all know, Jackie Chan is pro Beijing, meaning he is a supporter of the Chinese Communist Party. He has been very vocal about this. In fact, he has attended their meetings and performed for them many times. Last year, Jackie Chan expressed a desire to join CCP, but he was rejected for two reasons. One. In 1999, Jackie Chan had an affair with former Miss Hong Kong and bore a daughter, which he never acknowledged to this day. And two, 2014, Jackie Chan's son, J.C. Chan Fong Zhongming, was arrested and jailed for smoking marijuana in Beijing. That incident was very embarrassing for Jackie Chan because the Chinese government named him the anti-drug ambassador in China. So in general, Jackie Chan is a communist. But let's talk about pre-1997 Jackie Chan. So here in this video, <laughs> let's do this side. I don't want to cover my grandparents' wedding picture with Jackie Chan. Anyways, as I was saying in this video, Jackie Chan is performing at the concert for democracy in China. It's a concert to support all the victims of the Tiananmen Square massacre of 1989. As you can see here, Jackie Chan. Seems to love democracy. Well, that's because the pre-1997 version of Jackie Chan is pro-democracy. In fact, most of the Hong Kong celebrities who participated in this concert switched to pro-Beijing after 1997. <laughs> However, out of all the Hong Kong celebrities who are pro Beijing, Jackie Chan is a bit particular because he has been a strong focal on the support for CCP. So, what happened to Jackie Chan? Why did he went from pro democracy to pro Beijing? Was it because he hit his head too hard from doing all those dangerous stunts? For money, or he genuinely loves CCP? Well, based on how much Jackie Chan has dedicated his time and energy for CCP, and also strongly voicing his opinion on them as well, it's likely that he became pro Beijing because he wanted power. He wanted to be on the winning side. Jackie Chan first showed signs that he is pro Beijing in 2004 when he called the. Candidates of the presidential election in Taiwan as the biggest jokes ever. Taiwan was not happy about that. In addition, it didn't make sense at all. I mean, Jackie Chan's wife is Taiwanese. 2009, Jackie Chan made it very obvious that he is pro Beijing. So at a conference, uh, he said that Chinese people needed to be controlled because too much freedom is not good at all. Hong Kong and Taiwan was not happy about that. I mean, anything that has to do with、uh, the government controlling people—that's communism. I also don't know. Uh, have freedom is good, or not freedom is not good? Really, I I I now I'm confused. Uh, too free is not good. It becomes like Hong Kong today. Too free, and it becomes like Taiwan today. Too free, and it becomes like Taiwan today. 也很乱，呃，我慢慢觉得原来我们中国人是要管的。Jackie Chan also condemned the protests in Hong Kong in 2014 and in 2019, and he supports the national security law in Hong Kong. Jackie Chan even stated that he is one of the one point something billion guardians of the five star red flag. So Jackie Chan. He will put CCP before anything else. He even put CCP over his family. 2014, when his son JC was arrested, he did not even do anything to help his own son. He stated on his online diary that、uh, he will always be by his side and they will face the future together. He didn't do anything. JC Chance's court appearance, he wasn't even there. When his son was released from jail. He even stated online that he will not pick him up. This shows that Jackie Chan didn't want to do anything that might 
ticked off CCP. As I mentioned in my other video, Jackie Chan being pro Beijing, it's really disgraceful. I mean, his parents, uh, they had to escape mainland China because uh, they were part of the Kuomintang. They even changed their last name from Fong to Chan because they were afraid that CCP spies might find them. So Jackie Chan being pro Beijing, it's a disgrace to his parents. You know, Jackie Chan becoming pro Beijing after 1997, betraying Hong Kong like this, I can compare him with Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, in that scene where Anakin betrayed Mace Windu for Palpatine. So, Jackie Chan is Anakin Skywalker here. Democracy is Mace Windu. CCP is Palpatine. Like Mace Windu, democracy was about to crush CCP, and Jackie Chan was standing there deciding which path he should take, who should he save. And CCP said to Jackie, I have the power to give you everything you want in the future. You must choose. However, after Jackie Chan realized how much power he can get from being part of CCP, he betrayed democracy. CCP must live. I need them. I can imagine Jackie Chan saying that to democracy. Because Jackie Chan wants and there you go jackie chan has a lot of positions in the chinese communist party i mean he even attended many of their meetings in the great hall of the people in beijing to further show his support for ccp jackie chan hasn't made a film in hong kong or usa for a while in fact i haven't even heard him speak cantonese for a long time Maybe he wants to forget speaking Cantonese. He doesn't want to be Hong Konger anymore. I mean, when he speaks Mandarin now, I cannot even hear his Cantonese accent. So yeah, um, I think Jackie Chan became pro Beijing because he wanted power. Has he achieved that? Well, not entirely because uh, he was rejected to be part of CCP. Jackie Chan, he always said that it's his love for the Chinese people, for his country and all that. I mean, it's obviously what he's doing is for CCP. So pre-1997, Jackie Chan is a Hong Konger. But post-1997, Jackie Chan, present-day Jackie, is nothing but a traitor to the Hong Kong people. He is a disgrace to Hong Kong, to his family who escaped communism as well. This is Jackie Chan as of today, the Hong Kong born actor and martial artist who betrayed Hong Kong for power. Lastly, I urge everybody to boycott all of Jackie Chan's upcoming films. They've been talking about making a Rush Hour 4. Well, if they do, I'm not going to see it. I'd rather they reboot Rush Hour with a different actor to play Inspector Lee. Jackie Chan sucks. Well, thanks for watching. Please continue to support Hong Kong and once again boycott Jackie Chan.